What's going on guys? It's your boy Fox and my man Jay Meister back in the house for Research Corner. And as if you can't tell, uh, I got my coat, I got the Monster Girl Encyclopedia, and we, we just got all the culture in the world here. Jay, how you doing? How you doing this time around? I'm doing good, Fox. I'm doing fantastic. Though, though the audience can't see it, I got my favorite Monster Girl, Sue, chilling with me. She's going to be watching. Oh, yes. Yeah. See, you doing good. You doing good. So, guys... Sorry it took so long to get these out. Uh, a lot has happened since the since this series has dropped. As of the time we're recording this, the show has been dropped by two Japanese networks. It's, it's crazy to me. Yeah. Oh, man. So, Jay, have you heard any other news on this show besides it being dropped again for, like, the third time in a row? Um, Not much. I know you told me that Um, you, you did a little research on this episode. And apparently this episode is like where people drew the line. They were like, okay, yeah, we're, we, we might be done here. Yeah, this is where the third episode is when Funimation uh, had dropped it. Before, third, the fourth, before the third episode had dropped, they had already dubbed the first one, which is, which, and actually, uh, not fun fact, but a fact I found out about this is, there is a reason why this show is a little bit saucier. It's because it is. Uh, so... What I found out is the I've read the manga, I've finished it, and all. It's only three volumes, only like twenty some chapters, which it doesn't need that long to begin with. But uh, a lot of the stuff that goes on in this anime didn't happen in the manga. Well, not not the saucy bits, like the storyline and all that. That's the same. But like some of the extra like saucy bits in the show, those were added, and I think that's why Funimation and these networks kind of didn't know what was going on. Because I was like, there's no way you didn't research this this manga before you just put it on your network you know yeah. but yeah. yeah so that's what i'm finding out is that a lot of the stuff that's going on in this anime is a little bit saucier than what, what went down in the manga but then again i'm like that's what that's what men of culture want i mean i'm not complaining about it i'm just saying <laughs> yeah yeah no no like i mean but at the same time it's like you know they always add stuff yeah, because so, like even in One Piece, they add like a little extra scene, extra scenes in the fights and all that. Like yeah. there's a controversy with uh, Luffy versus uh, Kaido, but we're not here for that. But just saying. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean that that's just that's what I heard. It's it's funny. I still I still feel like they should. I still feel like since you paid for the rights, you need to finish it. But I, what do I know? That's above my pay grade, I guess. <laughs> Do you notice anything at, about this intro? Dude, they're all girls. <laughs> I feel like Ty asked that question a while back about which gender would you want to be because he saw this episode. I think I'd want to stay, guys. <laughs> あの子は本当にいい子っす。はい。常に笑顔を忘れず明るく元気。客の気持ちになって何が大切かを考えてる証拠です。おめえ、どうてだけどいいこと言うな。いや。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> It is, but no. So if this brothel existed, like you, if we lived in this world, would you would you go visit that place, or would you be like, nah, I'm good? I I'd like to think that despite everything, I I would still remain somewhat clean. <laughs> but I'd I'd like to think I wouldn't indulge in brothels. <laughs> The uh, I can't remember what race he is. He pretty much looks the same. <laughs> yeah, I think he's a half friend, right? Yeah, he is. There you go. I couldn't remember. <laughs> oh no! Wow! <laughs> What Hold on, what was that little bit of censorship? What's going on here? Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> I guess I guess they took the censored version and just tried their best to crop it out. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> 
Are you gonna put your pants back on? Hold up, wait a minute, you can't leave? Who thinks like that? Probably a lot of people. Like like people who like catfish people. Yeah. Still though, that they're taking it to like the utmost extreme, don't you think? Krim has a very dirty mind. I'm pretty sure I shouldn't have to say this, but guys, if you're watching this at home, I would suggest you have on headphones. <laughs> Catalogs, there you go. There you go. Guys, make sure you purchase your Monster Girl Encyclopedia. Yo, if you're a true man of culture, you <laughs> I wanna find the, I'm gonna look up the company. I'm gonna be like, can we strike up a deal? I want sponsorship. Uh, get sponsored by that one Japanese science company that's like trying to make cat girls. Bro. I'll be the mascot from. I actually didn't learn about like succubus and incubus like through like anime and stuff. Like I learned about like different like types of like myth mythological species. Like just like on my own, just like because I was like kind of like into like whole like Greek, Roman, like all the kinds of mythologies of the world. So like, that's uh -huh. how I learned about these other like species and stuff. I learned about succubus like before I realized what anime was. But I didn't learn about Incubus until like, and until like I was really into like anime. I, I actually learned what a succubus was through South Park. The, the same, same. <laughs> She's a damn succubus. This, that is like one of my favorite episodes of South Park, period. <laughs> and then Chef's mom. The tree fitty, me and my homie talk, make jokes about that to this very day. <laughs> oh no, not this guy. Oh, hello? Oh, well, you know what? You gotta have some service for the women ladies out here too. So yeah, true. They're, they're women men. Of, they're women of culture. It's, dude, you go to a convention, you'll find out real quick. So actually, fun fact, my friend, she found out what sex was by reading BL on her older sister's phone when she was 12 years old. That's hilarious. So wait, her first, pretty much her first, like, I, I guess sexual experience was through Yali. Well, just boys love, when the, it, it's pretty close, but still, that's hilarious. Okay, I'm not gonna snut. Zell got some taste right here. <laughs> oh, hold up. Let me see. I'm gonna read them out. Encyclopedia. That's gonna be what I'm talking about today. The different species of slime girls. <laughs> Alright. Gonna hit people up with some of that knowledge. I also heard in this episode, like, th this one in particular, you definitely want to have headphones on. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, get the fingers in there. Hey, look, I'm all, I'm I'm here for it. No holds bar in my in my. <laughs> Just realize she's using a toy. Yep. Playing it, pleasure. Just hold up. Wait a minute now. 
This is too advanced. <laughs> I think you made the wrong choice, my friend. Yep. <laughs> it's not, no, oh, he can't be gentle with it at all. Oh, she really is a dumb. Yeah, she is. Yeah, into it. Yeah, <laughs> well, I can kind of see why they would like why you would choose a slime girl, especially if it's like your first time or whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's freaking perfect. <laughs> Yo! <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <laughs> ah. So, so I'm wondering, so I'm going to assume that even though Krim has both, her, her female side is more dominant. Probably. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna edit this for YouTube. <laughs> I'm just being, I'm just being straight up. I don't know how I'm gonna edit that part for YouTube. That part is gonna probably be cut out completely. Krim gave it a nine. <laughs> don't be looking at my dog Krim like that. Everyone got their own taste. <laughs> they put the rainbow! Oh, this is hot players. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, so it's Meat Suit's Corner again. So it's the old late. It's the. I don't want to call her old, but you know, the seasoned veteran. Oh, wow. I should have known. <clears throat> oh, yes. I should have known. You know what? Even though I, I I personally wouldn't, you know, take it take it down with her. Uh, I can I, I respect Zell. He's like, you know what? I really like this woman, so I'm, I'm gonna keep going back, even though he goes to different places and all that. Yeah. Oh, but guys, that you know, just like just like she just said, he he let her take the lead every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, I can respect that. Even though I don't appreciate the elf hate he does, but you know, so you. You, he's a man of culture. <laughs> he respects his lady. He does, he does. But guys, that is episode three. Ah, uh, it's... It, after watching this, I can definitely see why this show got dropped from not one, but two Japanese networks. But, which is even weirder to me because it's like, it's Japan. Now, the U.S., I know there's a world difference between our cultures, but, you know, in Japan, this is where this originated from, and it got dropped. So it has to say something about it, you know? But guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. We're going to we're going to jump straight into it. We're going to get to episode 4. So we'll catch y'all in the next one. See you guys then.